So we are out again on the apartment garden, the balcony garden. Good morning, garden fam. So I just discovered a wasp nest outside, so <laughs> I had to make this quick. The cats are out here trying to figure out what I'm doing because I have blocked off their usual cuddly spot. But this is the Monstera plant. I'm gonna try to shift it without shifting the little mat I have underneath. Hi, Peanut. So if you look, I don't know if you can see that, like all right there is where the gnats, the fungus gnats have been growing. So they gotta go because they're terrorizing the house right now and I can't, but uh, terrorizing the apartment. Hi Laura. Don't go that way. Don't, don't go that way. Why are you going that way? She's going under the tripod. So hopefully she doesn't knock it over. But um, I'm watching her do this. So I'm going to it's actually a pot within a bot. I have not moved it from the pot it started with. Okay. This is the other pot that it was in, so they knew it was gonna have to move. It just came with the plant. So I'm going to move this whole thing after I get all the gross dirt out of it in here. And that's what we're working with right now. I still have a few more things like my arrowhead, my arrowhead vine. The pothos need to be repotted or at least like taken out and then like the dirt cleaned up and then repotted. Um, there's lemon trees that I think are going to need more room that I have to repot and yeah, it's just going to be a repotting day. A bag, like some trash bags in there and I'm just going to basically take this out. This black tarp I got from Amazon, it like folds up and everything. Perfect for apartment gardening, especially if you do anything inside or outside and you just don't want to get dirt everywhere. So I'm going to put on my gloves this time since I'm dealing with dirt and I'm about to go to the store and I'm trying not to get dirt all over my like silky satiny skirt. <laughs> Goodbye to the fungus gnats. And it, this is the pot it's about to go into but I just need it's something that was already like open and free of this mess. So ooh, I'm not breaking. I feel weak, so I'm trying not to make it angry at me. It's the last thing I want. So I'm gonna keep this. If you did not watch the other video, this is Momo the Monstera, named after a character in Avatar, The Last Airbender. Shout out to anybody who watched that. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to do this strategically where I started around to see if it's going to be grabbing any roots. I can tell these roots are deep in here. I also need to clean the leaves, but we'll talk about it later. That's what I said. I don't think most of the dirt was bad, but I would rather repot this than deal with what I've been dealing with. So. Let's see. Like these roots are like deep. Deep, deep, deep in here. <laughs> This is a lot harder than I expected. And then Momo was like, ma'am, what are you doing? Like, Momo, you gotta come out of here. <laughs> I'm trying to do it as carefully as possible. I think some of these roots, I can feel them They're like deep in here. This is gonna be fun. So basically you're gonna have to like you can hear that. Try not to damage the roots too much, but I'm getting somewhere with this plant is trying to come out, but I'm 
try not to destroy the longest route. I can feel it. It's like No, oh, I'm sorry. You have to come out. You can be mad at me, but you gotta come out. The best part is it's just so easy to clean up that I can just like pick up this dirt and put it back in the pot. So I'm just gotta find this root. And this is why you wear gloves. Because <laughs> this is when I say it's deep, it's like at the bottom of the pot. <laughs> you really don't want to break this one. Bit. <sighs> And that is Momo. <laughs> as much of Momo as I can get out. So that dirt is still all good. I'm just gonna like probably scrape off the bottom because the fungus mats didn't go deep. But I know there's some like there was somewhere. There's like where they have like attacked it, and I can probably use hydrogen peroxide to kill them. We're not gonna do is bring that nasty root up in here. There it is. You see it where the and it's so sad because there's like a plant attached to it, but I'm like, you gotta go. You can't be attacking my plant. So that is Momo down and ready to be repotted. So the, like I said, the good thing is like they didn't, the fungus mats didn't get too far in the dirt, but it can't hurt to get rid of a little bit of it. You can tell that the dirt is super wet and I'm like, huh, great. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. But for the most part, that's some quality dirt, especially for Monstera. So what I'm probably going to do is take my potting mix. of this. I have to see if I can get a clock thing or something. At the store, because this one goes in our room, and the last thing I need, because this has holes on the bottom, drainage holes, is for water to leak everywhere. So, <laughs> so then we're going to put it this in there. I just need the soil not to be too, too wet, so. I'm gonna mix that in there. I don't know if these roots that are in here will do anything. Probably not, but who knows what else? Hi, Laura. She's like peeking on the other side. She wants to know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. I want to plant it deep, but not too deep, because obviously, like, you know, there's some babies growing around here. I'll take a shovel. Sit there, Mama. Yeah, so this baby was severely rebound, and I did not know until now. Like, look. All those roots. Which, like, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna repurpose it and put it back in the pile within. And now the gnats are trying to come back, and I'm like, haha, no, you don't. <laughs> Destroying your home on purpose, look. Haha, uh -huh, I found more. No, no, no. I tried to go deep in there. 
so I'm not making a home in a new area for my Monstera. I do not think so. Of their gnats are trying to come back. They really want to be in here, but I am not having it. So, what I'm going to do is go get the hydrogen peroxide. So, you can mix hydrogen peroxide with water, and that'll kill the fungus gnat. So, I'm going to do that to water this particular plant because um, I just need them to be gone. I'm tired of them and them annoying everybody in the house. <laughs> because I overwatered my plant, so. Uh, so not in the bottom of this, oops. But they are like all up everywhere else in this plant, so. This is a good thing about having the tarp if you're a bit messy like me. Like, I really don't care where I fling the dirt. Uh, this helps because <laughs> then you can kind of just be like, oh, okay. So, I try to keep as much of its soil. I'll keep you updated on it. This completely failed and I need to repot it completely or if this worked. So, I'm hoping some of this potting soil will help. Because I've been using the original soil for a really long time and it's a little more like peat. If you watch the soil like type video then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it is like this loamy soil so hoping some loam, I just got dirt all over this dirt, <laughs> will help. So I'll water this with some Hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide and water and see how we can do. I'm gonna leave it out here for a little bit because I want to, you know, make sure all the gnats are gone, but I do my best to do that. But I also don't want to leave it out too long. I don't want to get too hot. But, and this is our new leaf. So that is Momo's repotting. Next up, we have my pothos babies, they've been inside. I don't know if they're really liking these black pots, but these are the pots I bought from Ikea. They don't really have drainage holes, but I've had these pothos, I think both of these are propagation. If they're not, they were a gift for a friend, but I need to take them out because they're also getting like fungus nests, and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't do all of this soon enough. So learn from my mistakes. If you see fungus nests, Hydrogen peroxide, then repot all the babies because you do not want to have to deal with what I'm dealing with now. Sorry if my hair was in the way for that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do. I'm just gonna pour. I know this whole soil is not filled with them. And to be fair, I've been using hydrogen peroxide on these too, so it's quite likely that the fungus gnats took to the monstera plant because it was bigger. Make it hide a little bit easier. And these are just painted so shallowly, so I'm just gonna get about rid of about half of that dirt. Kind of uncomfortable, like break it up a little bit more. I already taught this. But you can tell where the nuts are trying to stay, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill one of my roots, but you know what? For the doing it's fine. <laughs> yes, I should be wearing gloves. I was not. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Then, take a little bit of the soil. Because I don't plant it too far. Yeah, a little bit deeper than I did last time. I think I just stuck it on top because I was trying to repot it. That kind of made me cover up, so. 
I think these just need to be watered more. I'm better about watering, surprisingly, about watering the outside plants versus the inside ones. Even though I'm in more doors more often, I don't, mm, don't ask me. I don't know what to tell you about why that's how my brain works. But I also want this to like fluff out a bit more and not lean to one side. So I'm gonna try to pack it on that side and see if I can. Again, she told me wearing gloves for this part, but it's fine. Okay, so let's that baby be potted. Let's do the same thing to the next one. I'm trying to make sure these are in shot for you. <laughs> Since I have I'm not looking at the back of the camera when I do this, so. Yeah, like look how dry that dirt is. <laughs> My poor little pothos plant. Look at that. It just crumbles. And so that's why I was like, I don't think the fungus mats are really in here because this is severely dry soil. Like it's bad. This one I think they gave up and said, um, is she ever gonna water this plant? So still gonna get rid of the top layer to be safe. Again, I'm not trying to have any fungus mats. Like they're literally like, I hate my mom's right, like we hate talking about pests and stuff, but sometimes you gotta because you gotta be warn people like Hey, by the way, this is a thing, especially in your apartment, and then it gets annoying because you're sitting there trying to cook and everything. I have fungus net traps like everywhere because I'm like, I'm trying to do one thing, and y'all are ruining my life. Can you not? Can you not? These roots are much like deeper than I was expecting for this plant. So, not mad. It just, I'm like, okay, how are you still alive? I have not been watering you. Pothos are pretty hardy, so for beginners, I do highly recommend a pothos plant. The first one that I ever, maybe not the first one, but one of the ones that I got like three or four years ago, maybe two or three years ago, um, is still living. It's not huge for them to put in a huge pot yet, but she is still giving me like new leaves all the time and all that stuff, so highly recommend. I have, they're easy to propagate too, so you can end up with like a lot of plants for very little. So I have a uh, marble queens, I think, and all types of like golden pothos and all that good stuff. So highly recommend. And I'm gonna water that one because you can see that it's angry at me. <laughs> and then I'm not repotting this. I'm going to officially let it die. This is my bird nest fern. I just I haven't liked it. Trying to like put it in a spot has been awkward. So. This was my bird nest fern. It's dying back a lot now, but I have not been watering this thing. I have not really liked how it grows, so I think I'm just gonna chuck it. Like, yes, I kind of killed this plant. Not intentionally at first, but then I was like, mm, if it dies, that's fine. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get rid of some of this dirt. Cause I think I can use this to pot some of my lemon trees. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna see the lemon trees and be like, girl, I, I really, really need to repot them so they can grow big and strong like my um, avocado tree that's over here. Oops. Okay, so that should be enough. I'm gonna take this one that already has a little globe in it. There are actually two trees, two oops, maybe three. Um, I'm going to try to plant all of them in here give them a little more room because I have about six in one of the other plants and I'm going to see if we do better that way. This could also just be one tree to be fair and I don't want to split it if that's the case. So we're going to pop it in here and we're going to take all that good dirt because it seems to like it's dirt. I'm sorry for the scraping noise that's about to happen. <laughs> I hate it and I used to have sensitive teeth so I apologize if you have sensitive teeth and I'm to listen to that because it's like silverware scraping against each other. Like I hate it. So some very wet dirt. So I'm gonna try to cover it back up. But yeah. So I'm gonna see if these do better in here. I'm gonna leave them outside. But this one has like a water hatch in it. So I'm hoping that'll help 
it retains some water when I actually do come out and water them. But yeah. So, these are lemon trees. So, I just have a lineup going on the other side. I need to repot my arrowhead vine. Okay, so I got really close in here for my arrowhead vine. So the problem here is, again, I'm not watering it, but also I didn't bury it deep enough. So it, the soil should not be that easy to go like that from. That's bad. <laughs> don't let that happen to your plants, please. Um, I don't want to get rid of that dirt, so I'm going to use that little yellow pot I just had and just put the dirt in there. And that way if I want to plant some fall seeds like okra or a few other seeds then I can do that. But essentially what I'm going to do is stick this baby in this pot. And that way it has, it'll be deeper in the soil and I might leave it out here because um, my roommate's partners, our friend, uh, well my friend, her partner, his plant, <laughs> his arrowhead vine that like I like repotted and set out here. Um, no, I think I potted it, but we set it out here. What I've been checking on it is like it's trying to take over the tomato that I put in the uh, vase early because <laughs> it's just growing wild. Like it's just like trying to vine and find places to be in the dirt. I'm not mad at it. It's just interesting. So I'm gonna see what happens if I leave this one out here with it. Um, see if they kind of do the same thing because I'm kind of obsessed. So, got some pothos out here, which I probably need to bring inside. My lovely little, I'll show you the marble thing that I was talking about. There you go. Probably need some shade to see the actual, like, there we go. Beautiful. Um, but I think that's all. I'm going to do for now. So those are the major things. There's another plant that I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to move into a smaller pot. Um, maybe move some more lemon trees, but that's about it. I just knew I needed to repot it and try to get rid of some of these fungus snaps, and now I'm going to water things.